Welcome back. Uh, we're about to get started with the canvas and uh, I just want you to take a few minutes and settle in. Get comfortable. Make sure all your supplies are within reach and you can just sort of enjoy yourself. Hopefully you're in a, a nice quiet place. I have the snoring puppy in the background for my lovely sound. And uh, later on we'll be listening while I paint to some uh, local musicians called New Fiona and uh, hopefully you'll find them as enjoyable as I do and I'll give you I'll put links and everything in the description so if you do like them you can go and check them out but uh, get settled in and have your journal nearby and pen <clears throat> and we'll do a little a little breathing into the the present. So I want you to get comfortable. Sit so that you are relaxed and comfy. And take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. One more. And as you sit here, eyes can be closed or open, whatever feels comfortable for you. Notice the first color that comes into your mind. the second and the third you may open your eyes and write them down quickly and then get settled again Three deep breaths again. Now really feel into your body. Settle in. What part of your body do you first notice? What is the feeling in that body part? Is there a shape that you possibly associate with that body part? What is the second body part you notice? Really sink into it. Feel your whole body. And what is the feeling in that body part? And is there possibly a shape associated with it as well? And what is the third body part that you next think of? And what is the feeling in that body part? And is there a shape associated with it?
What do you smell? Do you taste anything? Do you hear anything? Is there a surface that you're touching that you notice particularly? Really be in the moment. When you feel as though you have explored these feelings, colors, shapes, tastes, I want you to open your eyes, write down the body parts in the order that you can remember them, the feelings and shapes that were associated with them, And any of the senses that you noticed that were triggered. And then see if any of those colors that you first had are connected to any of them. And then we'll begin. And take your time. You can pause the video here if you like. And write out in your journal what you experienced. For me, they ended up being this really wild pink. It is quite literally neon pink. And a very bright sunshiny yellow and red. So they're all warm colors that I'm starting with. Um, if you've never painted before, I would suggest that you do separate layers. Uh, warm colors on one layer. So pinks, reds, oranges, yellows, browns, things like that. Um, you can get, sometimes get away with green, some, sometimes not, depending. And then once that layer has dried, when we go into the next layer for the meditation, um, then you'll focus on the opposite colors. So there'll be cool colors for me. Um, you might be starting with cool colors yourself. It could be blues, greens, um, <clears throat> darker colors, anything like that for your first layer. So you can start opposite for me, it doesn't matter. Uh, we will still continue on in the same vein. It'll just be, your colors will be different from mine and they should be. And uh, yeah, so we're going to begin. Ordinarily, if you've painted with me before, you'll notice that I use um, a spray bottle, but because I'm working on such a small surface, I'm going to stick with uh, just a brush to wet down my canvas this time. And I'm not going to do the whole surface. I am just going to do a loose bit because I want the, the paint to spread how it wants to spread. So I'm not going to like soak the whole thing. And I'm going to take, I think I might take the yellow first. And you're just going to feel into where you might want it. And I sometimes will stand my painting up because I love drips. I'm a drip kind of girl. My drips make me happy. But in this instance, I think I will just keep it laying down for this layer. And then work in drips in the next layer for me. I think that'll be a thing. And you can see with the water that's on the canvas, it spreads the color almost like a watercolor. So depending on how much water you use, it'll spread differently. For me right now, this is just how it's going. And that's fine. I don't mind. I'm having fun with it. And you can do different techniques with the same brush. You can poke little bits of color on it in different places. Don't get too attached. This is just the first layer so it'll change and spread and 
become totally different, totally different anyway. So don't get super attached to the first layer because it never stays. I'm going to do some of that red because I really like that. And it'll look like something totally silly right now. It won't look like anything at the moment. But as we build layers, it will make sense. And for me, this is my first layer. That's how I'm looking at it. So I will let that dry and then we will come back and do another layer. See you soon.